Welcome to my humble abode. I am Yoko the Tail Spinner, and this is Tales Over Coffee. The channel where we start the day together with a narrative tale and a cup of coffee. In the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now to Tell Me Why. The tale of how transgender Tyler and his sister, Alison, as they work to sell their deceased, long time deceased mother's house and learn about their past. Let's continue. Right now, I believe we're going to talk to the cop. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> <laughs> There's no crime. Small town, hardly any crime. Mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. Yeah. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. And I'm sure the he others are on call page. if needed. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Might even be some kind of voluntary force, I don't know. I don't know if police have run, no fire, huh? Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. <laughs> He's Stellos Crossing's longest serving officer. We have a signed petition. Too late. Stop hunting uh, lodge construction on. Oh, stop hunting lodge construction on Fallen Creek, okay. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Yes. He's having credit card stolen by an online college. <laughs> Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure there are some legitimate online colleges, but a lot of them, they're not recognized officially. They, a lot of them are rip-offs. Well, should I decide the <coughs> wild world of accounting isn't for me? Really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers are still nesting during this spill. God, I hope not. Yeah. Oil really messes up wading birds, etc. It messes up anyone, but. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spend a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Missing posters. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Eric Haynes missing. Glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. So we know it in 2015. What? He never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Wow. Yeah, the moved on, didn't tell anyone, or he's gone. Let's see, name Kevin Sutton, patient ID that. Okay. Dean Becker. Here's my memo. To all police department personnel from Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute, date October 16, 2015. Subject to patient transfer, 10 26, 2015. To all Delos Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred to the Fallen Creek Collection Center to Pew on Monday, October 26, 2015. Oh, yeah, because the jails aren't overcrowded. Uh, oh, so Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs. Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murder. We also have. Now. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really thick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. I also have a memory somewhere here. Why do they look so familiar? There. 
Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Yeah. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly hell. set fire. She was acquitted. Uh, and now she's Officer a cop. Officer Wilson to you. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. Oops. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Ow. Damn. Poor D. Okay. We should have a happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. How come there's suddenly signatures on there? It was blank before. I uh, I did a road trail sled dog race winners list. Okay. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. A little bit. Is that even a thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I always thought she was a bit of an oddball, but in a good way. She's passionate. Passionate. Yeah. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as Only as choice in as town. Gets in Delos Crossing. Only choice in town, more or less. Nothing mm. doing there. Still locked. Nothing there. Mm. What do you know? Still locked. Hmm. Eddie must have locked it already. Well, that's no good to us, is it? Is there anything else around that we've missed? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. What about this door? Something's in the way. Well, let's open it and see what happens. <sighs> Something's in the way. Just give it a bloody shove! <laughs> Man, they are never going to catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Mailbox bandit. So he's stealing mail. On 10 27 2015, approximately 10 or 3 hours, Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched to 239 Woodlawn Road to respond to a report of theft. We arrived at approximately 10 22 hours and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper, DOB. Blah, blah, blah. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. Two days? Don't you check every day just to make sure? They made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time, but I ain't having that shit. I'm going to pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be there by Tuesday. But this morning, the lock was smashed to shit and there wasn't a nothing in there. Probably that punk ass tore down. No, the tore down is a street alias with Jarvis A. Sallow, known to myself and Officer Greggs, and uh, formerly number 
882, last known address, Almeida Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state, when I find Toe down, I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. <laughs> okay. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats, but then stated his willingness to uh, prosecute Salo and was directed to seek charges. Prosecutor's office. All right. Nothing much there by the look of it. Do we have anything else we can do? Anything to get that door open? Vending machine running. We've looked at that. Looked at that. Can we go upstairs? Let's try heading upstairs. Well, we Hi. can. You coming? Okay. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. All right, nothing else. Can find some files about Marianne in the archives. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file. Unlikely. Allison, hey. Shouldn't you be downstairs in case... And... Uh -uh. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. All right, Come well, we've got one of the rooms downstairs. Done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. This must be after the death of their mother. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same right. here. We're not going to get that open, so. <sighs> Something's in the way. Which is it? Oh, that's just a loop round, is it? Where's this memory? I'm thinking it's over the counter there. Back to off. Who Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Have a look. Don't know passwords. All oh, police department personnel, Rose Jackson. You administrative software, please reset your password. 
With the introduction of our new administrative software, all employees must reset their password. Please note the reception desk computers can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. All right, so we need any of them. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Yeah, in a minute. There's, there's got to be a password somewhere, I'm thinking here, but maybe not. Where's the memory? Because we're seeing it playing. Anything in here? Ugh, they've let this place get gross. <laughs> A little bit. That's what's in the way. This is heavier than I expected. The last news, talk strikes begin. Our election, candidate Tom Betty, sports gun control. All right. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Well, there's old pizza there as well if you want it. I'm not that hungry. How is it still warm? <laughs> Get a coffee. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, mm. I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey. You okay? What are we seeing? Now we can remember this bit. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. <laughs> it's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? No, I don't think she is. Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now? No way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Did they Did kill their like mother? Inside that room for a second? Which is what I've been thinking sure? at first. Or was it something else? I think we're going in the room, honestly. Seems to be the course of things right now. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable he dropped a vase. <laughs> Have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh, sorry. Huh? They kept this. What? It's that vase. They A broken vase. Together. Huh? What's that back there? No way. Have you been here all this time? I'm not sure why they put collectibles in a game, but it's fine. What we get, we get. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here right now. But I can still talk to Tyler. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by All now. Alright, so that's fine. How would you know, Tyler? 
Another one. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Did the mother top herself? Is that what happened? Remember, I suspected that that was what we were dealing with before when they thought she was going to kill them. Yeah. I just usually try or my best not did to they struggle the and the gun go off? Ah. Somewhere around here is another memory. I'm thinking it's in this room, but somewhere in here. But I'm not seeing. Ah! It's there. Where are we going? <coughs> We're just going to sit down in here, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. That's it. You're awfully quiet. Yeah. Sorry. Trying a lot to on our mind. It's a lot. Yeah. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want Oops. us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. <laughs> I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was a <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Play it. You too. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. That's tough. I, I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Interesting. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Hmm. So has she gone reclusive? A lack of social support if you're dealing with anxiety, depression, etc. can be fatal. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Mm, sometimes it does. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but <laughs> there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Mm -hmm. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, chief Brown, are you going to help us? Oh, now he's going the anger. Oh, Tyler! <laughs> no, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. 
but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. It was I about was both of you. And three years is not No, like Tyler. Seven. It's always about both in a relationship. Oops. Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. Well, we're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now they've mentioned lying. And she had a guilt reaction. Did she actually shoot? And he take the blame? Interesting. All right, my friends. I'm going to end it there for today, and we'll come back next time to follow on from this investigation. In the meantime, enjoy your coffee. May you have a blessed day. If you want to help the channel grow, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Fairly well.